Hi, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the relay station. We bring the news to you. This is just a quick video that I'm going to make sitting right here in my house. I'm not going to, it's not going to be long. Just want to share a couple things that I'm doing with you. I'm probably going to put this on my food, faith, and friends page on Facebook. You can find that if you go to my regular page, which is just my name, Linda Craig. Uh, if you're friends with me, you can find it there. But anyway, I started last week with intermittent fasting and today is day eight. Um, technically, I tried a little bit beforehand and just worked some things through like I got rid of a lot of eating uh, carbs and that kind of thing a few days beforehand. Started more like protein and fats before I started. So just wanted to share with you that I've started doing that today is um, day eight. Now, I know some people are going to think this is weird, and for me, it's not weird, but I'll just, you know, you'll just have to go with me. Um, the last, this past year, I gained 10 pounds. Now, if you know me, you know that I have a small frame. I've always been the skinny girl. Um, so, those 10 pounds that actually went on my body went around my middle. So if you do the research, you'll see that if you carry any weight around your middle, it's not healthy. It usually means there's some kind of um, inflammation going on somewhere. It usually means there's some kind of a re insulin resistance going on somewhere. So to head that off at the pass or to keep it from continuing in my body, because I think it has been, even though it doesn't show up as, as weight on me, I think it shows it's shown up in other places like my veins which pretty much my neck veins are not good and that's a whole nother subject blood pressure has not been good that's a whole nother subject but to get into some just some general health um so i wanted to do the intermittent fasting which i've been looking about you know listening to videos about that and reading a little bit about that so i thought i'll just do that um so what i've done is pretty much finish up eating the way I started and it helps to do it in maybe stages the way I started was cutting food off after seven at night would not eat anything else after seven I would have a cup of tea um, but that would be it and then uh, when I started the intermittent fasting I it was easier for me just to not eat at nighttime and I know that's a hard time because a lot of us want to sit down after the the day and eat a snack or eat some food and um you know not that that's terribly bad for you but if you're going to be working on fasting that's the best thing to do is stop the evening meal so i stopped that and then last thursday uh, friday it's been a week today's will be day eight of doing this um i've gone either for 12 14 or 16 hours without food and then right now what I'm pretty much doing is 16 and 8 and that seems to be working okay but the thing is I wanted and I'm just doing it to experiment just you know whenever I can get back to the doctor and get some blood tests and that kind of thing I'll just see you know what's happening <laughs> if something's happening but if you go to and I'm going to post um, a video in the comments of this one on that food friends and faith page that a lady a doctor explains what happens hourly when you're into a fast up to five days which i don't have a plan on doing a five day fast but i did do one of the days i did do a 24 hour fast and it was just because i was busy it was last saturday i did not get to eat i stopped eating that the day before at three i didn't get to eat till three the next day and it was not that difficult actually I was busy my mind was busy with other things and um, it was just not as hard as I thought it would be but anyway that's what I'm doing the reason I'm telling you this or I'm sharing this because whenever I figure something out I like to share it with friends I just like to share anything that I've come across that I think is you know it could be an advantage to any of us so I haven't been it, it had been at least a week maybe longer since I had checked my blood pressure, which I do that pretty regularly since simply because I'm on medication for that. Yesterday morning, I checked my blood pressure and this was after I had uh, one of the meds. It was a little bit after that. It was 110 over 74. Now, that is astronomically good for me. 
Uh, my blood pressure averages in the 130s, 140s, over 80s and 90s. So 110 over 74 was amazing. So I thought later in the day, well, I'm just going to see if this is, you know, a pattern. So later in the day, I checked it again, uh, like four hours later, it was 117 over 78. Amazing again for me. So I'm thinking, all right, I'm going to check it this morning. So I checked it this morning at 10, 10, 17 this morning. And that was before I took my med for the blood pressure. It was 127 over 81, which again, is excellent for me. So I'm wondering, you know, is this something that is helping that part of my body readjust and refocus and realign? Or is it just a fluke? So I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep checking. I'm going to, you know, try to figure that out. I have not, you know, gone to the doctor and talked to them about it, blah, blah, blah. My cardiologist has told me one time to eat a low-fat diet. So I know he's not up on the newest information. <laughs> Bless his heart, he's just not. You know, I go to him for maintenance. And we'll just see what happens. Um, if I want to talk about this with anyone, it'll be my general practitioner, um, Ralph Dixon in... Like Sherry's town, he's he's been awesome all these years. I've been with him. He's always done everything he could to to help me and to figure things out that were going on in my body. So I'm just sharing this. I'm 65, so I have gotten to that place where you know it, it's I've been healthy. I've been healthy. I mean, except for the vein thing, <laughs> I've been healthy my whole life. I've had energy. I've not been overweight. I've worked hard. All those things. So. You know, I haven't really focused in on so much. What can I do right now to make the best of, rest of my life the best I can as far as health? So this is just something I'm sharing with you. I'm going to pin um, a video of a doctor that's going to go through the uh, what happens to you during a fast, what happens to your body. I found it very interesting. So I'm just going to pin that in the comments below this video. I might put it on YouTube as well, but I'm not going to keep it any longer. Just wanted to, I guess maybe for um, accountability, I'm just putting this out there. And if you have any thoughts or you have any uh, suggestions for me, or you've done this yourself and discovered what works and what doesn't. Right now I'm doing 16 and 8. 16, not eating. 8, I do eat. And then I break my fast with protein. So today, um, you know, I make those little breads. I put that on my page earlier. Those little uh, meringue type cloud bread. And I put an egg, I'm eating an egg and a half. I'm not doing two whites. Um, so I'm doing two, two yolks and a, and a white. And I put some turkey, the egg and some turkey and a piece of cheddar cheese on two of those little breads, which they're only like English muffin size. And um, cooked it, stuck it in the toaster oven. And I ate all of it, but the last bite I just couldn't get in. So that's kind of weird, but you know, so I've broke my fast with that and I had coffee this morning. If you have coffee with just a touch of heavy cream, it does not break your fast. Um, so I did that when I got up and I also did some apple cider vinegar with, with lemon uh, this morning when I first got up and then I waited and had a cup of coffee. Then I waited and I ate. So, um, you know, I say this morning, it was probably, I don't even know what time it is now. Oh, it's 1130. So it was just a little while ago. So I had my 16 hours, actually it was 16, almost 17 this time that I did not eat and um, I'm actually full. So I'll wait a couple hours, I'll eat again, but I like to finish up eating between three and five now. That's kind of how it's going. That way it, it, it varies every day, but I'm trying to get myself on a schedule, but it depends on my, my schedule with working with clients or, you know, going out or doing something or whatever. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. If you have any thoughts, share them with me, please, and share this, you know, wherever you want to, or take it just for your own, um, your own value, um, this is just me. I'm not telling you to do anything or not doing anything. Just sharing with you what I'm doing. And the fact that my blood pressure was down <clears throat> even this morning before the medication that I normally take, which I hate taking, absolutely hate it because I feel like it poisons my body while it's trying to help me do something. But anyway, that was the take that I had on that. So I'll let you go for now. Um, I know I've got a crazy background. It's not the best. Uh, crock pot right here. I've got a roast in the crock pot for later. Going to make some cauliflower with that and carrots 
and I think we'll be good to go for, for our later in the day evening and then I'll cut it off. I won't have anything. Maybe a cup of tea or you can have bone broth. Um, doesn't break your fast. I can do that if you want something, you know, before you go to bed or in the evening. So this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the Relay Station. That's the news I have for you today. And I thank you for listening and taking the time to do that with me. Please, again, share um, anything that you would like to share with us, with us. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.